Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah, this everybody. This is Dr. Therese Bright and Dr. Anthony Bright. Amen. We're the pastors and founders of World Night Christ Ministries, and we're here again today to talk about you're a genius through the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's actually a good confession for you to confess all yourself. I'm a genius through the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. And this is part 16 we're talking about today. You're a genius through the Holy Spirit by continuing to fear God. Amen. Have the fear of God in your heart. Amen. Amen. And we're going to read today Proverbs 3. Verses 5 to 7, Proverbs 16, verse 6, First Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13, and Acts 9, verse 31. Amen. So what is the fear of God anyway? The fear of God is to depart from evil. The fear of God is to love and obey Him. Amen. The fear of God is not that God is going to kill you and, and crush your, your head into pieces. No. The fear is to reverence. You see? In Hebrew chapter 12, verse 20, it says, I receive a kingdom, it cannot be moved. Let it have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The fear of God is obeying the word of the Lord. That's all. Amen. So I want to place a harmonica. Hallelujah. Bless the good Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. That's good. So the scripture we're going to start with today is Proverbs 3, verse 5. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. So we say, if you know what you ask me, people go by human reason, by logical deduction. Amen. They go, hallelujah, by trying to figure out. Say, so don't need to understand. That's right. See, give your understanding to the Lord, hallelujah. Fear God, depart from evil. The fear of God is always depart from evil. Tell me, I have a person who walk in the fear of God. You see, the person, hallelujah, he's sinless. No sin in their life. Amen. Because he, he or she are poor sin and transgression. The one pleases God. The fear of God is to please him. Amen. Honor him, respect him. That's it. And you don't want to wound him or do anything to displease the Lord when you fear him. Or bless him against him. No. Just love him, bless him, hallelujah. Bless the Holy Spirit. Amen. You love you 24 7. Yes. With unconditional love. So you love you 24 7. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So to fear God is to depart from evil and to keep his commandment. The Amen. fear of God is to keep his commandment. That's the fruit. That's the, the cracks. Of the fear of God. Keep his word, then you fear God. Not just from lips, from your heart. Amen. And also we're going to read Proverbs 16, verse 6. Amen. Are you enjoying this? I am. Praise the Lord. Pray this prayer and say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'm sorry for my sins. I'm sorry for my sins. Come into my heart right now. Come to my heart right now. Save me. Save me. I'm yours. I am yours. Forever. Forever. Thank you. Thank you. For saving me. I'm all yours forever. I'm all yours forever. Amen. Amen. Be full the presence in the power of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 16, verse 6. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. See? Explain that. By mercy and truth. The more of the truth you know, the more you depart from evil. The world, the flesh, and devil. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. What is your iniquity? Your lifestyle of uh, rock, the right, uh, your lifestyle of sin, transgressions, and hallelujah, and all ungodliness and wickedness. It's so all iniquity. But you can purge them through repentance, through the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus purge your sin and transgression and, and uh, iniquity. Amen. Hallelujah. So you give them to, to Him. Amen. Now we're going to go to Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 12. 
Ecclesiastes 12, verse 5. And it reads, Also when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way. Ecclesiastes chapter Oh, excuse me, verse 12, verse 13. 13. Mm -hmm. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. See, that's the summary Amen. of Christianity. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty. It's <coughs> a duty because that's what God requires us to do. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> and we are more than conquered. Amen. Fear God yes, Lord. and keep his commandments, for this whole duty. No other duty, the whole duty of man. Without duty, Holy God sent to help you. That's to right. Fear God and keep his commandments. You can do it on your own. Amen. It's impossible. Because flesh loves flesh. It takes the Holy Spirit to purify the flesh. As we surrender our flesh to the Holy Spirit. And we place it on the cross of Christ. Amen. Thank you, that's, Jesus. That's right. And we are made a brand new creature. A new creature. If any man be in Christ, not in self will, in Christ, it's a new creature. All things have passed away. All things are what? Become new. Amen. We continue to walk in the newness of life. I come to Romans chapter 6, I think verse 7. Amen. Amen. In the last scripture we're going to read today is Acts 9, verse 31. Oh, that's a good one. And it reads, Then had the churches rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria, and were edified and walking in the fear of the Lord, and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost were multiplied. You see, when we walk in the fear of God, you always enjoy his comfort, his pleasure, his peace, his rest on every side. Amen. And you also multiply, grow in the Lord. Hallelujah. So the fear of God, hallelujah, that's his, his benefit and they are limited. You see? You just continue to obey. All right, that's to do. Yes, sir. And that's an obedient person that fears God is is very smart, very wise, because Wait, he has the genius of the Holy Spirit working through him. That's beautiful. Because when you're obedient, you allow and you're, you, have, you fear God, you allow His Spirit to operate through your life. Amen. Amen. So a brand new creature. Amen. Want to seek and serve the Lord. Amen. That's why you can do anything with the help of the Lord. There's nothing that's too hard. Amen. No hurdle, no obstacle that's too great for you to overcome because you have the genius, the wisdom, and the Holy Spirit in you as you allow Him to work through you. Amen. See? And you're no more restless. You're that's full right. Of rest on every side. Peace. Thank you, Jesus. So let's pray for our audience that they okay. uh, receive the fear of the Lord and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Okay, go on. Father God, in the mighty Jesus, we just pray for our audience right now. We ask you, Lord, to bless their lives. Continue to increase and multiply the fear of the Lord and the comfort of the Holy Spirit in and through them right now, Lord. Amen. As they surrender their will to you, as they yield to you, and ask you to help them. Lord, we give you all the praise for blessing our audience. Bless them. Strengthen them. Quickly refresh them more body. We command every spirit of infirmity to you know, all those that are listening and viewing audience to loose them right now in Jesus' name. They are free from every yoke of bondage, every prison house, every plot plan a scheme that Satan has against their lives to suppress their potential is destroyed right now. We pray right now that the genius will flow, will come out and bless all the earth. Every gift, every talent will come out of their whole spirit, soul, and body and bless all the earth, Lord. Stir up every gift, every gifting inside of them right now to be used for your glory and our praise, to glorify your name. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Fear not, my children, I'm with you. I'll continue to multiply you, change you, transform you. I'm delivered from religion, false teaching, tradition, whatever you sat under over the years, Amen. which have crippled your work with me. I'm opening your understanding. Put these teachings in the, in the action, and you see you transform speedily. Because I'm the Lord God, I change you now, says the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord for the word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. So as we're, we're uh, concluding this message, as you continue to fear the Lord, and walk in, you walk in his wisdom. So as you remain obedient, it's the Holy Spirit that helps all of us to be obedient because none of us can do it on our own. So we call upon him for his help, and he helps us because we humble ourselves to do that, as we taught in the, in the earlier segment. So we just thank God for all of you turning in, and stay tuned for the next segment. Amen. God bless you. Amen.